British police should be sent to Calais to help solve the port's tremendous problem with illegal immigration, the French interior minister has said. Bernard Cazeneuve told the BBC officers my help persuade immigrants it was impossible to cross the channel. Increasing numbers of migrants have been trying to enter the UK through the major ferry port in recent months. The Home Office has not yet commented but the UK has previously pledged £12 million to help bolster security there. That pledge was part of a plan, announced in September by Home Secretary Theresa May, for the two countries to work more closely to tackle the problem. Local officials say there are now 2,500 illegal immigrants in Calais, with a majority from Eritrea, Ethiopia, Sudan and Syria. Numbers have increased by 50% in the past year as people flee from humanitarian crises in northern and eastern Africa and the Middle East. Many are camping or living in squats around the port and there have been clashes on the streets of the town. We had a hard negotiation between the two governments and I have had a lot of rendezvous with my friend Theresa May in order to find a solution concerning this tremendous problem, Mr. Kaysnuf told BBC Radio 5 Live's breakfast show. British police should be sent to Calais to help solve the port's tremendous problem with illegal immigration, the French interior minister has said. Bernard Cazeneuve told the BBC officers my help persuade immigrants it was impossible to cross the channel. Increasing numbers of migrants have been trying to enter the UK through the major ferry port in recent months. The Home Office has not yet commented but the UK has previously pledged £12 million to help bolster security there. That pledge was part of a plan, announced in September by Home Secretary Theresa May, for the two countries to work more closely to tackle the problem. Local officials say there are now 2,500 illegal immigrants in Calais, with a majority from Eritrea, Ethiopia, Sudan and Syria. Numbers have increased by 50% in the past year as people flee from humanitarian crises in northern and eastern Africa and the Middle East. Many are camping or living in squats around.